Hello and welcome to CIA. This is another part of the tutorial series on Motic REST API. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the endpoints. So with the endpoints, you can perform different operations. But in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can create an object, how you can read an object and how you can delete an object. So uh, usually there are four type of operation, which is create, read, update and delete. Uh, it's called CRUD. But in this one, I'm going to talk about only three of them, which is create, read and delete. The update part I want to talk in a separate video because there are two type of upra update operation in Motic, which is called patch and put. So uh, there is a difference between patch and put. So I want to uh, dedicate a different video and complete video to uh, these two operations. So in this one, I'm going to talk about only create, read and delete. Okay. So as you can see, I'm already in the uh, developer documentation and uh, here you can see that uh, the first endpoint that we see is the uh, uh, get contact, but I'm not going to start with this one, but I'm going to start with the create one. So uh, let's go on and uh, create a contact. So let's go to the create contact. And here, as you can see, the endpoint is contact slash new and the method type is uh, post so post is like an http method that you uh, usually use when you don't want your uh, parameters to be displayed in the url so when you are doing something and uh, when you're submitting a form and your parameter displays like this and uh, you are able to see them in the browser url this is the type of request which you called get request but when you are using the post type of request your uh, parameters are not displayed in the browser but they are transferred an encrypted way to the server so uh, let's go on and uh, create a contact okay so i'm here in the postman and i have already created uh, uh, the part of the url and uh, here i'm going to select post so i'm already in the postman and uh, i have already placed the url uh, which is the base url of my motic uh, this is the base url and after that i have appended the api but what we want to do is we want to create a new contact. So I will copy this endpoint from here and paste it in the URL. So now the URL is pasted. And if I go in the authorization, you can see I'm right now using basic HTTP auth and I have passed my username and password in here, which is going to uh, authenticate my request. So let's go back and in, in the body. In the body, I have uh, chosen the type of uh, request to be JSON and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass the parameters in the form of JSON. Okay. And uh, I'm also going to pass an email. Okay. So my request is now ready and uh, let me tell you how I'm getting these key and value pairs. So if I go back to the Motic and if I go to the settings, custom fields. So uh, in the custom fields, you have a column called alias. So in the alias, all the uh, these information, whichever is present here, you can pass as the option of key. So my first name is actually a key. So let me show you. So as you can see, if when I searched for the name, I got first name, last name and company name. So first name is a key, as you can see here. Last name is another key, as you can, as you can see here and email is another key so let me show you so company email and email so email is another key and uh, after column everything you place is a value so test fn test rn and this email that i'm passing these are the values so my request is ready what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on the send so now motic has done me this huge object that i have here so if I close this and uh, let's see uh, in the fields, what we have first name, the first name that I passed here, as you can match last name, the last name I passed here again, you can match and email. So let me look for email. I'm sure it is going to be the same. So let me just go and uh, see how it is. Uh, so this is the ID that we have. So I'm going to copy this. And here I'm going to, instead of going for the fields. Okay. So this is the contact that we just created. And as you can see, uh, let me go to the edit mode. 
and as you can see this is the email that we passed this is the first name this is the last name so the contact was actually created and we can see this in the Motic UI uh, so next step is that we want to use this uh, we want to use the API to fetch this contact okay so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go copy this ID from here and instead of new I just need to pass the ID and instead of post request I need to make a get request and I'll click on the send and here we have the complete object so as you can see this is an individual contact if I close all of this information as you can see this is only the one contact that we got and the ID is exactly matching with the ID that we passed in the request so these are two parts which is to uh, create a new contact to get a contact using ID and the third one would be delete the contact so I'm just going to refresh it here just to show that this contact still exists and now what we are going to do is we are going to use the delete type of request to delete the contact so let's go back to the documentation and see how it works so in the delete what you're going to do is you want to pass the uh, method type it will be delete contact ID and delete okay so delete contact ID and you want to put delete all right so let's send the request so the request is sent okay and now let's go in the Motic and try to refresh this one and as you can see there is no such contact existing anymore okay so these are the three type of uh, requests that I wanted to show in this video uh, in the next video I will be showing you how you can uh, use the edit method and uh, there are two type of uh, requests that you can make one is put and one is patch so thanks for watching guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel because there are more videos coming uh, on the same topic and uh, in this complete series we are going to explore how you can use Motic REST API for your advantage thank you for watching have a nice day thank you